jumping on, on, uh, so on any small boat, um, which is super responsive, you really feel that uh, you, are, you are at the mercy of the environment and the conditions, uh, that's, that's the fun part of it. You're, you're really connected to the sea and the, and the weather and everything. It's the type of event that you sail through more than 24 hours, which gives you the close connection to the, to the sea and the weather. It's here the challenge. It was planned for April 2020, but now we have postponed and now, and now we are here. That's good. So it's the first time I sail in Adriatic. Welcome to Yezera. I'm really glad to see you here after one year of pause. Okay, I go to the airplane, fly to Dubrovnik, go with him on the boat. We just sailed up here to Yezera to have fun at the sea scapula. Basically, it will be our first day today and tomorrow is a race. So <laughs> we need to get the boats ready to go sailing and see if we are missing anything or not. I really love this escape challenge training camp. Actually, because it's the first timer, this gave me a confidence needed for feeling safe and enjoying the boat. Just keep the attention in so you keep the tension on the front tail, okay? And what I really love about the Seascape Challenge um, is that it offers the, the three-day training before the race and I think this is just the thing you need to feel um, confident on the long distance race. Hi, good to see you all. It's been a while. <laughs> it's going to be a race with a lot of transitions uh, and changing of pace, so it's not just uh, like a rave or a rock and roll, it's, it's going to be stop and go thing. So Yura will run you through the weather situation. Make sure you do your, your mapping. and. Um, and also, I encourage you to use the, the laminated charts that you got as, uh, as your cheat sheets, basically. Um, so you can prepare in advance, you know, where you can rest and where you have to fight and where do you expect parking zones. Because there will be parking zones, which means some will get richer unfairly uh, and some will lose stuff unfairly. So just try not to get too frustrated. It's a long race. Uh, and it's going to end up with what looks like very nice sea breeze. So, Everything is open, I think, all the way to the end. Start is 11.50. And we were leading the fleet until Kakan, 
when we were planning the strategy for the race, we were talking, okay, there is one channel where we don't go, it's between Capri and Kaka. And then when we were at the entrance of the channel, it was uh, like a poof, an idea, because it was full of wind. Okay, maybe we could still go here. And we were thinking about where to go, and then the wind died. That's where we lost the lead. Yeah. And we didn't get the lead back for the rest of the race. Yes, when you were sleeping. <laughs> we decided to head a little bit to the west and not going through the channel. You know that the trick with the sea breeze is that it's very discreet. Either you have it, either you don't have it. It's a bit difficult and then you, then you have a many, many different factors and you never know which one is really going to take over. So, and that, that's why, you know, setting up the route was a bit difficult uh, for us because you never know, you know, is it going to be uh, eight knots or is it going to be zero? What we expect is to have, for the first time, night sailing in Kornati archipelago, which is, uh, it's gonna be beautiful, I'm sure, and it's a bit challenging. Uh, we don't expect strong winds, that's why we said this year, let's go in there. Whatever channel you, you think is going to work best, it's going to be an interesting uh, transition out, out here. We go all the way out of Kornati National Park and we are turning island Taljuric, which means a plate. It's, it's a very flat island like a plate, um, just next to, to Long Island. Um, we are going to be turning that in the night. So, good morning <coughs> to everybody. We miss the wind and all the others. No, not all the others, but a lot of the others. But we didn't miss the sunrise. It's still gonna happen and it's probably time. So, the day will be fine. Morning coffee! <laughs> Change so much sails in a race. We <laughs> can't count it, we can't count it. 20 times, 25 times sail changing. Nearly every sail we have on this boat is used many times, many times. It's a very psychological game. First one to start. At the first place, the champion of champions, Blue Sardina 2, from Slovenia, Danny and Dejan. Top sailing, some uh, uh, parts of oil, no wind. The last part, upwind, strong wind, 20 knots, perfect. We are tired, but we really like this. It was a beautiful experience. 
I think we did two things right and everything else was wrong. <laughs> I think we enjoyed this very much, definitely. Yeah. We know it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing, and it was. It was a little bit like a good party. Quite a lot of fun in the evening or in the night when we could overtake uh, a lot of boats and uh, could <laughs> sail into a second place for that moment. But when the sun went up, it was a little bit uh, having a hangover. And after uh, 20 hours of waiting, the comes yeah. wrong wind. <laughs> we <are> really <laughs> That's the challenge, then, really. We have to improve our strategy rollout. Definitely. Yeah. 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 You want to compete with the locals and you don't succeed. <laughs> we were single hand sailors all the time. Because I was one sleeping. Of us was he sleeping. was sleeping. <laughs> we came in, came in with very low expectations. <laughs> we had no idea how we're going to do. We just wanted to not be scared and not be the last one <laughs> and the last and not least first place in the class 27 Czech mermaid Milan and Milan for sure we will come back and uh, I would like to say that uh, if you would like to win you have to focus all the time 24 hours uh, for the race and you have to react very quick for each different conditions the message is to never give up, but for me, what I remember why I'm here is the community and, uh, well, it's a challenge, it is. It's a really nice race um, and it's uh, a great community. Yeah. Great to be here. And the, one of the great parts, uh, also the big surprise for me, is uh, how friendly the whole community is. This is my first uh, connection with the Seascape community. Everybody is super friendly, willing to, to help, willing to share experiences. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Being part of it is something special.